This video will discuss how we estimate the allowance or bad debt expense using the percentage of receivables method. The amount of the allowance or bad debt expense is often estimated based on either percentage of credit sales or percentage of receivables. In this video, we will focus on the percentage of receivables. The percentage of receivables estimates the allowance as a percentage of the outstanding receivables. This method relies on the fact that as accounts receivable become older and more overdue, it is less likely that they will be collected. Management establishes a percentage relationship between the amount of the receivables and the expected loss from uncollectible accounts. The amount of bad debt expense that should be recorded is the amount needed to get to the required or target balance. You simply compare the required balance to the existing balance in the allowance account. To more accurately estimate the ending balance in the allowance account, a company often prepares a schedule called Aging of Accounts Receivable. This schedule classifies customer balances by the length of time they have been unpaid. For example, accounts receivable is $39,600 of which $3,000 are 31 to 60 days past due. After the company arranges the accounts by age, it determines the estimated percentage uncollectible or bad debt loss rate. This is based on past experience. The longer a receivable is past due, the less likely it is to be collected. As a result, the rate increases as the number of days past due increases. Note the rates, they range from 2 to 40%. To determine the estimated uncollectible amounts, multiply the totals of each category by the bad debt loss rate. Total estimated uncollectible accounts for this company is $2,228. This represents the amount of existing customers' accounts that are expected to become uncollectible in the future. It represents the amount or credit balance needed in the allowance account. You may use only a single percentage rate. For example, the bad debt loss rate may be 5.625%, which would result in a required balance of $2,228 if we round to the nearest dollar. This company's aging schedule estimated the uncollectibles to be $2,228. This amount represents the required or target balance in the allowance for doubtful accounts. The amount of the bad debt expense that should be recorded in the adjusting entry is the amount needed to get to the required or target balance in the allowance account. If the unadjusted trial balance shows allowance for doubtful accounts with a credit balance of $528, that represents the existing balance, and the aging schedule estimated the uncollectibles to be $2,228, then an adjusting entry for $1,700, which is the difference between the required and the existing balance. It would result in a debit to bad debt expense and a credit to the allowance for doubtful accounts in the amount of $1,700. The allowance account may have a debit balance prior to the adjustment. This occurs when the write-offs during the year exceeded the previous estimates for bad debt. In this instance, the company adds the debit balance to the required balance when it makes the adjusting entry. For example, if there was a $500 debit balance in the allowance account before adjustment, and the required balance is $2,228, the adjustment would be for $2,728, which is the sum of the existing balance of $500 plus the required balance of $2,228.
This would result in the following journal entry, a debit to bad debt expense and a credit to allowance for doubtful accounts in the amount of $2,728. This exercise will focus on both the direct write-off method, question A, as well as the allowance method, questions B and C. The solutions will be provided in another document. This exercise will focus solely on the allowance method. You will use the aging of receivables to determine the estimated uncollectibles and then prepare the adjusting entry to record bad debt. Companies prepare an aging schedule at least monthly to identify problem accounts. What changes have occurred in the aging schedule from 2013 to 2014? The solutions to this exercise will be provided in another document.